Sia benedetto il nome del Padre, del Figlio e dello Spirito Santo. Blessed be the name of the Father, of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O oh God, come to our assistance. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever. Amen. Alleluia. was weeping outside the town. I followed Jesus. I truly loved him. Jesus has healed me and given me life, and they killed him. He is not here anymore. is empty, the body is not there. She hears a voice that calls her by name, and with her face still marked by her tears, she turns around and runs toward him. I seek the living among the dead. Stand up and run. I'm not here anymore. You are least in the eyes of the others. Be first to cry. He is risen indeed. Remember us when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the poor in spirit. Theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who suffer. They shall be comforted. Blessed are the meek. They shall inherit the earth. Through the tree, Adam was exiled, but through the tree of the cross, the thief entered paradise. Adam disobeyed your will. The thief, crucified with you, confessed in you the hidden God, the living God. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for justice, for in the kingdom to come they will be satisfied. From the disciple, the transgressors of the law, vote the creator of the law and led him like a criminal before Pilate. And they cried out, crucify him, crucify him, because he called himself the Son of God. Lord, 
The Lord nourished them with manna at the time of their journey in the desert. But we imitate the crucified thief, and with his little faith we cry out, Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the merciful, for they shall find mercy. The crowd loudly cried out, Crucify Jesus the Nazarene. In their folly, incited by their leaders, they sought salvation for Barabbas. We raise our voices on high, and with the crucified thief, we cry out, Lord, Remember us when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the pure in heart, for they shall see God. You were led to the slaughter like a lamb before its sharers. In your heart, there was no hatred, only love and forgiveness for all. You did not call upon legions of angels, but you entrusted yourself to the Father. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are the peacemakers, they shall be called the children of God. You were crucified, O Lord, because you brought a true peace that the world does not know. Blessed are the feet of those who bring peace, even if nailed and pierced, O Christ, Son of the living God. Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. Blessed are those persecuted for the cause of justice. Blessed are you when they insult you, persecute you, and speak lies about you. Rejoice and exult. Your reward will be great in heaven. On the cross you bound the tyrant, the enemy who persecutes humanity, ransoming us from the chains of death and of evil, liberating us so that we may live. O oh Lord, friend of the people, Lord, remember us when you come into your kingdom. the gospel of the poor, liberation for the imprisoned, sight for the blind, freedom for the oppressed. From Psalm 22. 
Yahweh, do not hold aloof. My strength, come quickly to my help. Rescue my soul from the sword, the one life I have from the grasp of the dog. Save me from the lion's mouth, my poor life from the wild balls, horns. I shall proclaim your name to my brothers. Praise you in full assembly. You, who fear Yahweh, praise him. All the race of Jacob honor him, revere him, all the race of Israel. For he has not despised nor disregarded the poverty of the poor, has not turned away his face, but has listened to the cry for help. Of you is my praise in the thronged assembly. I will perform my vows before all who fear him. The poor will eat and be filled. Those who seek Yahweh will praise him. May your heart live forever. The whole wide world will remember and return to Yahweh. All the families of nations bow down before you. For to Yahweh, ruler of the nations, belongs kingly power. All who prosper on earth will bow before him. All who go down in the dust will do reverence before him. And those who are dead, their descendants will serve him, will proclaim his name to generations still to come. And this will tell of his saving justice to a people yet unborn. He has fulfilled it. This is the word of God. In this prayer of ours, every Friday, the Beatitudes and the Cross are intermingled every Friday. And the part of Psalm 22 we have read, we find in its soul, in its depth, the experience of martyrdom, the search of God, and his answer, a cry. Save me from the lion's mouth, my poor life from the wild bull's horns. I shall proclaim your name to my brothers, praise you in full assembly. Here we hear strongly the suffering inflicted by evil, but also the universal trust in the power of love and faith. The whole wide world will remember and return to Yahweh. All the families of nations bow down before him. There is gratitude for the knowledge of God and trust in his aid. And the psalm says the poor will eat and will be satisfied, and all who search for God will praise him. In this psalm, they express faith, but there is also the faith of Jesus himself and of the so many that, like him and with him, believed without arms in the brother meeting among men and women, searching the face of the Lord. Frère Christian de Chergé and his six monks 
of the Atlas are among them. Frer Christian is one of them. 25 years ago, in, within the serious conflict that was steering apart Algeria, the, his body and the body of the other six months was found. We were and we are still today his friends, their friends, and he was a friend of the community, a man of prayer, of dialogue, of brotherly dialogue, a brother of Islam in a very difficult context that we have known from close concerned for peace, praying for the future of this country. A letter of his is kept in the Basilica of St. Bartholomew and speaks of the spirit of trust in that prayer for peace in the spirit of Assisi where he took part trying to find in his life some important facts. When he was young, seminarian in the Carmelite in Paris, he had to stop his studies in 58, and he had to go in the French Algeria for the military service in Thierry. And there happened something that marked him for his life, opening him to the search of friendship with Muslim people and to prayer as a debt because he became a friend of Muhammad that was a field guard, a Muslim field guard, in one of the municipalities where he was serving. He wrote, Frere Christian, I had the immense fortune of working with Muhammad, a simple man who was a field guard. And it was the first time I could, as adult, speak of God such in, a, in a such simple way, in the clear awareness that he was a Muslim and in the simple stating that I was a Christian. One day, during a clash, Muhammad protected him from the aggressors. And he paid these generous gestures later with his own life. When Christian, knowing that Muhammad was in danger a few days before, saw him anguished by threatening, he said, God can do all, everything. I will pray for you. Muhammad replied, yes, thank but is a sin that Christians are not able to pray. Christian de Chirge spent all his life in Algeria to learn praying and to be brother of these Muslim friends. This event will come back also in his homilies and in his words as in the martyrdom of charity in 1994 when he recalled that he could not forget Muhammad who protected my life, he wrote, exposing his own life and that died, killed by his brothers because he he, he, he didn't want to to, uh, to give them his friend, Ubi Caritas Deus Ibiest, and this God of charity was faithful to him during the civil war. And in the years of Tibrin, he founded a group of dialogue, of fraternal dialogue, that was nourished by word and human relationships, fraternity and friendship with God. Ribat es salam, the link of peace. We all found much with amazement. And I would say with amazement, recognizing the, the, the marks 
Alfred Christian in the spiritual testament that he wrote in 1993, the same year when during the Christmas night, a group from GIA entered the monastery and tried to impose Frère Christian something he could not do to give up when he was announcing to the leader of that group that the community was celebrating the coming of the Prince of Peace. And so he was then kidnapped on the 27th in the night between 27 and 28 March of 1996. His words written one year before death have the, the strength of faith in God. We, have, uh, we sang this evening the words of the thief that has to be remembered in the kingdom, and Christian expressing his full trust in God, he uses the same words to say that the brother, the Muslim brother would kill him, and both of them had to be in front of God, both grazed because they had satisfied the wish, the most deep wish of knowing the face of God. If I had one day, it, it may be today, of being a victim of terrorism that involves now all foreigners who live in Algeria, I would like my community, my church, my family to remember that my life was gifted to God and to this country. And in the end, my death, speaking of the possible martyrdom, will seem to give uh, right to those who treated me like a naive uh, ideal, idealist. Let's say what he, he thinks now, but these people should know that my deepest curiosity be satisfied. I will be able to emerge my sight in that of the Father, to contemplate with him his children of Islam in the way he sees them, all illuminated by the glory of Christ, fruit of his passion, invested with the gift of the Spirit, whose secret joy is always to establish communion, playing with differences. This heritage, this legacy, we feel it to be lived together with this memory and looking at these times with the, the humble courage of faith and with the debt towards those who have lived and experienced the, the, the dialogue up to death, dialogue that is searching for good, love for the other, is discovering of his soul, a religious man or woman can dwell the heart of all, and this sees us gathered in the name of the gospel, in the hope of the kingdom of God, affirming the beatitude of love for all, for the poor, meekness, greatness of peace, and the beauty of mercy. May the Lord, in the memory and the affection for this witness so close to us all, may help us to live according to the heritage of love that Beatitudes delivered to Frère Christian, to the monks of Tibrin, to the community, to us all, to each one of us, to be men and women of peace, of dialogue, of encounter, in the name of the Lord Jesus.
under the protection of your holy mercy. We take refuge, Mother of God, in times of trouble. Do not dismiss all our petitions. But deliver us from all danger, you, the only holy, pure and blessed one. O oh, Signore, insegnaci a pregare. Lord, teach us Padre to pray. Nostro, che sei in Our cielo. Father, who art Sia in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Venga the kingdom come, there will be done Sia on earth as it is in heaven. Volontà. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our Daci trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. E non abbandonarci alla tentazione, ma liberarci dal male. Amen. Il Signore ci conceda la sua pace. May the Lord give us Amen. his peace. Cristo è risorto. Christ is risen. Indeed is risen. Risorto. Veramente risorto. Indeed Cristo is risen. Cristo è risorto. Indeed is risen. Veramente.